So in Sweden, there are four names that have been dripping off everyone's tongue to host Eurovision 2016. Uh, the Expressen uh, newspaper tabloid reports that SVT wants Petromeda and Monzomalov and Gina Darawi. Darawi? Darawi. Gina. 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 She says that she wants to host and has been in contact with uh, Christian Bjorkman. And Sana Nielsen was recently quoted as saying that she would like to host, although she's accepted a gig with All Song Cross Gonson for the summer immediately following Eurovision. Now, you guys, we need to untangle all of this. Let's start with Petra Mida, who is not giving comment on whether she will host Eurovision. Which I think is really suspicious because I think if she's in negotiations, she doesn't want to say anything in case it compromises her for that. If it's about money, if it's about, you know, the technicalities. Because, you know, she hosted Solo in 2015, so maybe she doesn't want to share the spotlight. Yeah, she did it solo, she did a great job. And our interview, we also had an interview with her, and she's, she's clearly one of my favourites. I think she'd be really good. I, I really think she'd be really good. But no comment in itself is a comment, isn't it? It really <laughs> is. You know, she would be good, but we want to see her hosting solo again. I mean, she hosted Greatest Hits, she hosted Eurovision 2013. There are not that many Eurovision hosting gigs on the European level, and she would have three in just, you know, ever since 2013. That's quite a lot of Petra. I mean, I love her, I'd love to see her again, but is it too much? Sana got rave reviews for her commentary. Um, is he called Edward Silver? Like the guy who's mm. wondering. They got absolutely rave reviews for their commentary on 2015 and with Man's winning. But I mean, as in this sense, I think that really does rule Sana out because it's almost like a consolation prize because it's the big summer show. Because I mean, she could still do Melfest if she wants to do that another year. But I feel like SVG wouldn't give her all the gigs. We've kind of left Sarah Dawn fine around. Well, let's focus on these four names first. Mon Zomalov, obviously the winner of Eurovision 2015. Tabloids are reporting that his name has been in the running, that SVT wants him. He, of course, hosted Melody Festival in 2010, I believe. Um, he's got the hosting experience. He was just the winner. Do you think the winner of Eurovision should then become host of Eurovision? I think he'd be a great host. I mean, we saw that this year in Austria. Really, Conchita should have just hosted the whole thing on her own. Really? Because, like, the three witches were just horrendous. They were boring. So would and terrible. Conchita was the shining light. Amon's is funny, he gets it, and also for the songs, he can do the comedy, but he can also play it serious. He gets the tongue in cheek aspect, and he's a genuine fan, which is what matters. He actually cares about the most. I mean, like, Jan Jan is his favourite song, and if you were, like, just a casual fan, you'd pick, like, Hour or something. He knows his shit, and I think, as well, he'd just be, like, hilarious. Yeah, I mean, Man's of Love is a good host, uh, but, but I really think that you should concentrate on the music and perhaps, I mean, perfectly damaged is out, and who knows, by nature, there could be in, in another album. So, you know, instead of having Eurovision where Jessica Marbo and Darren came in, he should actually also have a mini concert opportunity mm. to plug his existing material and to perhaps push, you know, upcoming material. I think hosting would then be too much considering Sweden has such a wide talent pool that you know somebody else can be used. Spread the love. Yeah. And one of those performers hosts is Gina. Gina, she says she wants to be in it. Do you want to see her? She did a great job at Melody Festival and hosting two years in a row. Once with Danny, once with Sarah Don Leinert. And that other girl. <laughs> oh, okay. Whatever happened to her. Um, yeah, I think Gina is fun. She's like, and as well, for like the comedy music numbers, like Patra in 2015, she's not like a good singer, so it's almost funnier when she does mm. the numbers with them. Um, and she just also has such a great stage manner, like she's funny, she's a light touch, and it would be kind of left like field, because you would think, I think Petra is just kind of a safe choice for us to be, and I think it would be nothing new, whereas Gina could bring a different flavor to things. I'm going to shake things up slightly, and I would say I wouldn't, I wouldn't even mind Krista Bjorkman actually mm. hosting it. Mm. You know, at least the green room, because he he used to be an artist. Um, he's been in Eurovision, he's been in Melody Festival and several times. He now runs the show. So he's very relatable in terms of communicating with artists, both on and off camera. I mean, with Blogs, we've had mm. a lot of contact with him, and he's great. And I would say Krista Bjorkman. Host the green room, please. Sarah Don Finer, in response to an article, we asked if she would host, or I'm sorry, compete in Melody Festival. She said no, she's not entering Melody Festival, and she has no other details at this time. But the message almost sounded like there was some kind of negotiation going stay on. Stay tuned. It was very <laughs> much stay tuned. 
Sarah Don Fonda would be my personal choice. I think for two, she did a host Mel Fest, obviously, but you know, with Eurovision 2013, with Eurovision Greatest Hits, you know, she always had the side role. You know, she was Linda Woodrow of the Greatest Hits in Sweden, but not. I think she deserves her time to shine on the European level. Take her out of Sweden. She speaks perfect English. What, she's half American, half British? Half British. She's got the language skills. Everyone outside of Europe, or sorry, outside of Sweden already loves her, or those who know her. She's got comedy on lockdown. She's funny. And she can sing. She's funny, and she can sing. How yeah. many comedians can sing? I mean, it's very, very rare. Mm. I think she should host. I think Linda Let her host Woodruff, solo. like, has to feature because she's such an institution, but also just so genuinely, like, amusing. Like, even to, like, casual fans, she's just hilarious. But, I mean, like, I'm sad she's not singing in a way because I would love for her mm -hmm. to kind of get to it. But equally, she did my past twice, and a lot of artists, after a few times, that are like, no, like, I'm done with it. And kind of good for her to be brave enough to go up, like, hosting, I would love to see her doing Malfest as a host again, which would be amazing. And yeah, I think SVT just has so much talent that just, in my mind, you would balance it out so the talent spread all over, rather than just giving it all to one person. And she did sing The Winner Takes It All in the Grand Final Interval Act in 2013, mm. but I want her to have a bigger moment. I think the Interval Act was given to her because people wanted her to host Eurovision that year and she didn't get to this, but okay, we'll let you be the Interval. Let her have her moment. Alcazar. Oh. They already come as a package. Two girls. One boy. They're funny. They, they're funny. They, they speak sing. perfect English. Great English. They can sing. And guess what? They they're known all over Europe. They've got hits exactly. in the UK, in Ireland, in Sweden, Denmark, Finland, Norway. Huge. 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 What? You know, that they amazing. could also do it. Wouldn't what is that. without organs, army of lovers. These come prepackaged. So final question then, I want us to all go around and say who we want. You get, you can pick one person or one team. So wait, wait, Do not wait, have wait. options. The Eurovision from Alpha. Eurovision. 2016 primetime SVT. Oh. Devin, you go first. I would say Chris Bjorkman needs to be hosting the green room. I want to know who you want to host the main show, Eurovision, not the green room. If it ain't broke, why fix it? Petra made it. She did a great job, and I think that you need to reward people who've done so well by actually calling them back. I'm gonna go free prong because I want free presenters. I want Miss Sarah Don Fina, because she's amazing. I want Monsum Love, and I want Gina Darawi, because I think three of them would have such good energy and, like, it's been a while since we had three hosts that were all equally funny and all equally competent. Because I think everyone thought like the Norwegians got it right, and like, kind of did, the Germans sort of did. And I think they could kind of represent the Dusseldorf effect that was so good. Because Mons is like the big fan, he's the big musician, he's the star. Gina can do the more serious stuff, but also funny. And Sarah's just hilarious. I think the three of them together would be unstoppable. I'm gonna go for two ladies. I am choosing Miss Sarah Don Finer and Miss Dina Darawi, and you know why? Sweden accepts more asylum seekers and immigrants per capita than I think any country in the world. Sarah Don Finer and Dina are both transnational. They've got British and Swedish in Miss Sarah Don, and I think Dina is of Palestinian descent, which is always timely. They are showing their true colors. They are showing that Sweden is a land of many people. It is not just pink people who turn super pink in cold weather with long hair. They are diverse, they are multicultural, and we need to see that. Plus, Sarah Don Finer deserves her moment in the spotlight. Gina Darwi does a term of on the European spotlight. I want to see new talent. Petra Mina, she is the Oprah of Sweden. She will still be the Oprah of Sweden afterwards. That's all fabulous.